Hello guys, in this video we are going to use the new Windows 11 in Android mobile phone. The fascinating things about the Windows 11 is the look and feel. Everything is elegant, it almost looks like a Mac operating system and the OS also supports Android application. It's quite good, nobody expected these kinds of Windows updates is given by Microsoft. So there are no need of blue stacks like applications to run the Android apps. Yes, I'm also a blue stack lover. But now everything is simple because of this operating system. There are only a simple steps we need to follow. Now we are going to install the co-release client consumer x64 free in Android 10 Redmi K20 Pro. It's a 2 year old device but with flagship 855 SDM processor. Let's check the MI Redmi K20 Pro with 6 gigs of RAM will handle this Windows 11 or not. I think this is the first video installing Windows 11 on Android. Quite interesting right? Okay, let's open the web browser and search Windows 11 ISO in nmohammaddovic.com. It's a simple process, you can easily download on a single steps. Just click on the first link. In this website, you can see lots of information regarding the Windows 11 pre leaked version. And also, you see the device recommended specifications are also available in this website. Then at the bottom, you will find the download link. Just click the client consumer x64 to download the Windows 11 ISO page file. Be patient, it will take some time to download. Okay, I already downloaded the Windows ISO image file. Yeah, there it is. Okay, the total size of Windows 11 ISO is 4.53 GB. Now I am connecting my mobile phone just a second to PC. Copy the ISO image file to internal memory of my Android mobile phone. Yes, that is my Redmi K20 Pro. You can create a new separate folder in your phone's internal memory to copy this operating system so that you will not get confused. Just see both are the same files of 4.5 GB. Okay, now we are going to see how to install the Windows 11 in Android mobile. Open the Play Store and search for Bebo CHS. It's an Android emulator. This is application overview and also very easy to use this application. Install this application and open it. This application interface, there are three different pages. Okay, let's check the Windows OS is in my internal memory. Okay, now in this app, select the first thing you should select is ATA0 Master. Now click select button and select the Windows 11 ISO image file, which is already downloaded before. And select CD-ROM, not disk image. The CD-ROM is important for this tip. And at the bottom, also select CD-ROM. And for the file selector, is system new. Now drag on to the next hardware page. Yes, in this page, you need to do it carefully. The memory should be higher if you are using a good specification device. That means the emulator is going to use that size of shared RAM memory in your mobile phone. For chipset, select i440FX. And for VGA card, select Cirrus Logic CL GD5446 PCI graphics card. And for sound card, select Creative Sound Blaster 16 ISA. And for PCA slot 1, select the same GPU Cirrus. And at the last page, select VGA update frequency to 15. If you give 13, if you are using a low device GPU, you can show the Q 13 for that. And 
Don't forget to run with full screen and also you can see the downlink arrow at the top right corner. It means there are 4 available OS in this application. You can download it and use it. The MU Linux, FreeDOS, Tiny Core Linux and the Puppy Linux are the 4 available OS in this application. And now finally click the green start button to install the Windows 11 OS on Android 10 Realme K20 Pro. Now it's booting perfectly, you can see the new Windows 11 logo. Keep it available in the simulator on the top left corner. And just for a second, just checking my device specification. Yeah. It's MIUI 12.5 mana, the core 2.84 GHz CPU with 6 gigs of RAM. Okay, let's go to our phase. You need to wait for about 40 to 45 minutes to complete the overall installation steps and process. And select the language and the keyboard layout. At the last, I think the Windows 11 looks really cool but it lags while installing in Android 10. It's because of uh, mobile phone, I think so. So that's the only reason for taking lots of time in this installation. Thanks for watching, hope you all like this video, I'm Manoj and this is video.